everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with Stock Swish and Reviewing Tesla. <coughs> Excuse me. This has earnings tonight, and it's one of the reasons I'm looking at it here. Again, I don't I typically, I'm going to say 99.99999% of the time, do not take a, a, a trade into earnings because you never know what the earnings could do. I have no idea what Tesla does in the earnings. So in my system, what I do is I wait until after it gaps, then I rate the gap per my system to see if I'm going to go long or short. So in other words, I don't predict where it's going to go or where it's going to gap. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this could gap down to 650. It could gap up to 900. I have no idea. But it's probably going to gap. Uh, stocks usually gap on earnings. There are many reasons for stocks to gap. It could be earnings. It could be news. It could be the sector. It could be the market. It could be pre-earnings announcements. There's tons and tons of reasons for stocks to gap. But... I'm not into any, in anything in this because one, it's very expensive to trade even as an option, and two, you know, I don't know what this does tonight, but I do think, just blow this up here. Uh, well, first of all, it is strong. It's in an uptrend, that's for sure. But second of all, now that this is in the SPY and included in the in, in the S and P, I think that this is going to move the market. So we're we got two hours left in the day today, Monday. Again, this is after the bell tonight. The market tried to make new highs in the spy today. Has didn't do it, but got pennies away from it. So this will affect the market. Now, whether or not there will be a bullish play in this or a bearish play in this, I won't know until I see the gap, then rate the gap to determine if I'm going to take a trade in it. But it will, like I said, probably most likely high odds affect the market. And that will be interesting too, because the market has been on a run-up, a very strong run-up. It certainly could continue if it wants to, or on the other hand, it could drop. So I think Tesla, while Tesla's earnings and the reaction to the earnings and the gap that will happen tonight and into tomorrow morning will be important for Tesla to see if this stock is going to hold its strength or, 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 or give up some of the gains. Um, I think that ultimately, not, not only is the earnings report important for Tesla, I think it is important for the overall market. because the market doesn't need much to blow over the highs. I mean, it needs barely anything at all. And yet, as I'm saying this, here is, actually, let me just show you the whole chart. I mean, this is the chart. This is going back here a year. Look at what we've done. This is the lows from the COVID bounce. I mean, that happened pretty quickly when you think about it. It was 323, the lockdown was like 312, wasn't it, or something? I mean within 10 days of the lockdown, we, we bounced and we really never looked back. So while we have plenty of room to the upside, we also have plenty of room to the downside here. And I think that this week is an important week because we have a lot of big earnings out this week. The first one is Tesla tonight. And again, I do think that that will affect the market. So we'll see what happens. If you're interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. It's an annual newsletter. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day, and good luck with Tesla tonight.